Greetings from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Wisconsin Badgers and the LSU Tigers. We've got a great bowl game lined up for you here. This one looks to be an incredible gridiron matchup. And here come the Tigers. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? Wisconsin has voiced some concerns this week about protecting their quarterback. I think one of the best ways to slow down a pass rush is to hand the ball off to your talented running back. Watch for them to feed the ball to him and win a close game here. Wisconsin Badgers, they got this one. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Kicks it off. Davis fields it in the end zone. Down there on the field at linebacker, we've got one special player. He's the heart and soul of this defense, and they're going to need him today more than ever as they go up against a very talented running back. If there's anyone who can bring the wood to this running back, then it's got to be this linebacker. That's right, he's a tough one. There should be some really good collisions in this game. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 24. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it out there. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Wisconsin has one of the top defenses in the nation. Have a look at the stats. Boy, I'll tell you what. This whole defense seems to be full of All-Americans. No doubt about it. These kids are the real deal, my friend. Dunn lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Swings it out to his man on the screen. He's on the run. Loses the football. LSU lining up the punt. Goff gets it off. Patrick takes it to 28. Now the offense will come out and see if they can't get an early lead on their first drive. They'll set up shot at the 34-yard line. The Badgers line up in a split back set. Nice play fake. Throws it to the outside. It's dropped. The pass was right there. Just couldn't be controlled. This tied in some more passes in practice. He needs all the help he can get. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Play action across the middle. And got it complete. Looked like the linebackers bid on that play fake. I didn't even know the quarterback had the ball. That's worth a yoke. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 42. They put everyone up on the line. It's a pass on third and short. He's going to take off. Gets past the tackler. Campbell with a takedown. A big gain on that quarterback scramble. Boy, defensive breakdown here. Good defense. They had everybody covered, but they left the quarterback with a lot of running room. The key word is but. Good defense, but. You got to keep your eye on that kid. The Badgers come out in the ace formation. Pitches back. Wallace brings him down. 
A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. Second and four coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Badgers line up in an I formation. Jenkins again tries to juke, and they got him for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. They come out with a big set. Hurd with the play fake. Incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. And they're ready to punt this one away. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Jackson signals for a fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 20. The Tigers come out showing three wide. He jukes. There's a fumble. Cole recovers a loose ball. The running back just lost the handle on that one. Look out. That ball flew out of there like a wet bar of soap. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Badgers come out with split pass. They'll drop him for a loss. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo! The Badgers line up in an eye formation. Bird pitches out to the right. Trick play might not work. Fumbles the ball. Russell with a takedown. They turn the ball over to the defense with that fumble, and the head coach has got to be upset with his halfback after that one. Any coach would be upset after his running back fumbles. The first thing the running back learns is how to grip and secure the football. Now, well, hopefully, he shakes it off and forgets about it. There's nothing he can do now. LSU sets up in the eye. Dunn drops back to pass. He lets it go. Complete. Knocked out of bounds. A one-yard loss. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 32. The Tigers come out of the ace formation. Dunn tosses to the left side. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. 10 yard penalty. He looks like he had a handful of jersey on that one. You know, you can get away with a little holding, but hey. You can't do that. Second and long. Ball of the 22. Six DBs in the lineup. He drops back. Looking. Going deep on the left side. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Move back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Under pressure. And he's going to be sacked. 
The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's good. LSU lining up the punt. Goff gets it off. Patrick fields up for 50. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Wisconsin sets up in the eye. Give. And he's tackled. Three yards there on the play. Second and seven. Ball on the 47. On the 47 yard line. Wisconsin lines up in a double tight set. Bird pitches out to the right. Throws it to the outside. His receiver has it. Russell brings him down. I don't think the defense was quite ready for that one, and they give up a first down and good yardage. It's first and 10, ball of the 32. High formation here. Bird to the air on first down. Looks across the middle. And he drops it. Now, Coach, I know that pass was a bullet, but you still have to look it in and catch it. He tried to catch it. It just bounced right off his hands. Maybe they ought to get him practicing with one of those jug machines in practice. That'll at least get him used to catching bullet passes. Second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Badger go with the eye formation. There's a the play fake. Throws it to the outside. And it's incomplete. And the tight end couldn't manage to stay in bounds that time. Yep, the tight end caught the ball, but not before he stepped out of bounds. Good call there by the reps. It's third down and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Defense! 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 The Badger come out in a two tight end set. Defense! 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 Drops back to pass. He's going to take off. They'll bring him down. comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. It's up. And it splits the uprights. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it. Davis takes it from the six. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 24. Single set backfield. Back to pass. Looking. Wants to throw outside. Got it. Breaks one. And he's taken down. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it. And now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. First and ten. 
Ball on the 47-yard line. Damn. LSU sets up in the eye. Hut. Hut, hut, hut. They go with a run. Yuku brought down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Tigers go with the I formation. Dunn drops back. Short toss. It's tipped. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. Third and eight. Ball on the 45. The Tigers set up in the gun. Dunn, back to throw, steps up, he's going right, the ball is tipped, and that one's fallen incomplete. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kids. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. LSU, ready to punt this one away. He punts it. Brooks calls for the fair catch. He dropped it. He just couldn't pull that one in cleanly. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. They'll, They'll go to work at the eight-yard eight line. line. The Badger come out in the ace formation. <laughs> Setting up the play action. He's looking down the middle. His receiver has it. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21. The Badger come out in a two tight end set. yards on this one. That blitz couldn't have worked any better for the defense or any worse for the offense. LSU has one of the top defenses in the nation. Have a look at the stats. Well, I'll tell you what, this whole defense seems to be full of All-Americans. No doubt about it. These kids are the real deal, my friend. The Badger come out in the ace formation. He drops back. And they get the sack. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding. On the offense. The penalty is declined. Third down. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 12-yard line. Ace backfield. Bird set to go to the air. Here he goes. And now he's going to improvise. This one away. Davis. It's off, and it is a dandy. Davis fields it at the 30. Across midfield at the 40. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. Well, they had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll set up shot at the 35. LSU lines up with three receivers, and they hit him in the backfield. Both teams getting closer to the championship as we wrap up the first quarter. 
The score, Wisconsin 3, LSU nothing. Second and long, ball on the 41-yard line. The Tigers line up with three wide. The ball is tipped, almost picked off. Yo, sweetheart, if he would have hung on to that one, we could have seen a big bow shift here early. And, Coach, how many times do you see a game of this magnitude get decided early because of turnovers? Whoever protects the ball best is going to walk out of here national champs. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 41. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Dunn steps back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the left. Patrick with a takedown. They'll get a good chunk of yards on that play, but they're still looking at fourth down. Maybe that will perk these guys up a bit and get them going on the next drive. Ball on the 31 yard line. The field goal unit takes the field and they'll look to tie this one up. It has the distance. And it's wide right. No good. They'll get the ball here at the 31-yard line. First and 10. The Badgers line up with four wideouts. Across the middle. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kurt. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. Second and 10. Ball on their own 31. Wisconsin comes out with an eye formation. With the throw. Batted ball. Everyone had a shot at catching that pass. Especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 31. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. Back to pass. He's looking, rolls right, wants to throw outside, knocked out of bounds. He made the catch and they're still going to be short. Hey, if you would have gotten some yards on first and second down, you wouldn't have needed so many on third down. Fourth and one, ball on the 40 yard line. Wisconsin lining up the punt. Davis, back to return. Brown gets it off. Davis fields at the 18. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. They'll start this drive at the 20. LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Done. To the air on first down. It's deflected. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Dunn comes to the line with three wide. Dunn drops to throw. Looks. He steps up. Smith comes away with a sack. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Looking across the middle. Got it to him on the run. He's all the way down to the 46. That's how you get a first down. Coach, they took a risk and went for the long ball. Boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. Right. 
First and ten. Ball on the 46. They line up in an eye. David takes a hand off. Riley brings him down. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10 to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. LSU sets up in the eye. On the ground with a tailback. A little juke. They'll bring him down. They keep it on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. Third the offense faces another third down as they line it up. They're lining up in the 5-2. Brought down. Nice pickup on the reverse. Brad, they got the defense going one way, then bang, they reverse it the other way. Good execution. First and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. They line up in an eye. David on the toss. He breaks free. And they push him out, and that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21. LSU comes to the line with three wide. They go with a toss. And he's going to throw. And he puts it on the turf. And they fall on the loose ball. The offense will keep possession after the fumble by the running back. It's a good thing they can't afford a turnover right now. It's second down and a long ways to go. This is the ninth play of this drive. High formation here. Drops back to pass. He lobs it left. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He sailed that one high. That's not a bad incompletion because he saw the blitz coming and just got rid of the ball to avoid losing yardage. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. The Tigers come out in the shotgun. Steps up. He's looking. Waits till the last moment. Incomplete. Dropped by the wideout. this we're all tied up it's up and he hooked it left they'll go to work at the 29 at the 29 yard line first and 10 the Badgers come out showing three wide. He jukes it. Tackle. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. 15 yards. Spot the foul. Well, the offense has helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 47. They line up in an eye. Setting up the play action. Looks. Once at all. 
and got him. And he will score. What an impressive call. I could hear the defense yelling run all the way up here. Boy, did they fall for that one or what? And he tacks on the extra point. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Davis, back to return. Here's the kick. Davis takes it at the four. Makes the move. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. They'll set up shot at the 24. High formation here. And they got him for a loss. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. Second it's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 23. Davis is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hands. Harris tackles him for a loss on the play. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. Not only does this kid tell him not to throw to his side, he's telling him not to run to his side. Yo. Keep an eye on that cornerback down there. He has big play potential. Throws, and they've got the screen set up. He had it knocked loose before he could control it. Just a great play here by the defender to force the issue. They line up to punt this one away. Goff gets it off. Patrick fields it at the 38. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. Excellent field position to start the drive. Hurd with four wide receivers. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Chance with a takedown. The quarterback keeps it and gets five yards. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. Wisconsin lines up in a double tight set. Her pitches out to the right. His receiver has it. I don't think the defense was quite ready for that one, and they give up a first down and good yardage. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He goes downtown. It's tipped. And he's got it. Touchdown. And he makes his second visit to the end zone with that catch. Oh, that was a great catch by the receiver. He ran a perfect route to get open for his second score of the game.
and he hits the PAT. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Wisconsin to kick, Davis and Reed back to return. And they'll be returning this one. Reed takes it at the four. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll take over at the 20 yard line. One man backfield. Dunn gives it up the middle. Young brings him down. The running back gets two on the carry. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 22. The Tigers line up with three receivers bunched. Davis on a pitch out. Ball's loose. Offense falls on it. They narrowly escape there. It was close, but he recovers a fumble for his team and avoids a turnover. Wisconsin calls a timeout. Third down, 15, ball on the 15. Yeah. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Hot. 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 David will run it again. Lucas with a takedown. Wisconsin takes a timeout. Lining up the punt. It's away and it's a booming punt. Patrick fields it at the 37. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. They'll start this drive at the 39. At the 39 yard line. First and 10. The Badgers line up with three wide. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. Got it to the senior. Reed brings him down. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open things up for the big play. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Badgers line up in a split back set. Heard, drops back. Throws it to the outside. Got it. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He just played some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. One man backfield, Bird to the air on first down. He's going left. The 10, touchdown, Wisconsin. And for the third time in this first half, they've managed to find the end zone through the air. When this quarterback gets in rhythm, watch out. This could be ugly.
And he tacks on the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. We should have a return on this one. Reed takes it at the four. Loose football. Brown with a recovery. here at the 16. First and 10. Dunn lines up in the shotgun. Dunn drops back on first down with the throw. Wow, not a smart pass. He thought he could squeeze it in there, I guess. And the next time he does that, he better be ready to make a tackle. They'll pick him off if he's not careful. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. The Tigers go with the eye formation. Dunn gives it up the middle. Young with a takedown. Just about three yards there. A minute left in the half. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. Hut. 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 They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Young brings him down for a loss. Wisconsin calls a timeout. LSU ready to put this one away. He punts it. Patrick signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 44. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. They'll go to work at the 44-yard line. The Badgers line up in a split back set. Hut. 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 Hurd drops back on first down. Throws down the middle. It's intercepted. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. And that's why a pass rush is so crucial to a defense. It allows you to intercept those passes from the quarterback. They'll set up shot at the 48-yard line. And they have three receivers bunched. Done to the air on first down. Steps up in the pocket. He's under pressure. And down he goes. LSU takes a timeout. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Dunn off the fake, looking, short toss, and it's caught, and he's tackled. LSU calls a timeout. Timeout called by the offense. Third and 14, ball on the 44. Ah! 
Dunn is back in the gun. He steps up. He's looking. Across the middle. Inside the 30. They made the third down conversion look too easy. They were just looking for the first and ended up getting a huge chunk of yardage. It's not bad. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. Done. Hands it off. No, play fake. Fires deep down the left side. The ball is tipped. Great coverage by the linebacker there in the end zone. Not only can this guy make tackles all over the field, but he can get out there and cover too. It's second down and ten to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Hayes comes in to kick the field goal, and he's going to have to get a leg into this one. He gets it up. No good. He missed it to the left. You can feel it in the air tonight as we're only one half away from crowning the national champions. Our halftime score, Wisconsin 24, LSU nothing. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Kicks it deep. Patrick fields it in the end zone. It's on the ground. Jones recovers a loose ball. side of the 50 as they start this drive. LSU sets up in the eye. Done. Little hand off. Smith with a monster hit. He just went right through him. Man, who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 19. They'll bring in their dime package. Done. Set to go to the air. Look. Here they come. Johnson comes away with a sack. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did it. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. Third and long. Ball on the 25-yard line. LSU lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Steps up. Looking. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. First of all, face mask on the defense. First down. The officials got that right. 15 yards for a face mask. Sometimes it's unintentional when you get a handful of face masks. You got to drop your hand real quickly or they'll give you a personal foul every time. First it's first and 10. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. They line up in an eye. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. He's in trouble. And they got it. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now and coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass at halftime. Let him get the guy rushing in. Take off behind his blockers for six. LSU lines up in a double tight set. On the ground, 
with a tailback. Cole brings him down for a loss. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Third and long, ball on the 21-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Somebody jumped early down there. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still They'll line up for down. another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on the 26. Dunn drops the throw, steps up in the pocket, looks, throws this one out to the right, and it's a true freshman. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. And the quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice, just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. three here. The kick is up, and it's right down the middle. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Lines up for the kickoff. Campbell and Patrick back deep to return. Kicks it off. Patrick fields it at the three. At the 30. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 37-yard line. First and ten. The Badger come out of the ace formation. He rolls out to the right. Going deep. And it's the senior. Wow, nice catch. Way to look at it. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. Wisconsin comes out with an eye formation. Hurd on the option right. He's got an open. Touchdown. This quarterback just knows how to find the end zone, Coach. And I'll tell you what, he can find it through the air or he can use his heels. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Wisconsin to kick this one off. Reed and Davis back ready to return. He kicks it. Davis fields it at the one. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. The 
They'll get the ball here at the 23. At the 23-yard line. First and 10. The Tigers set up in the gun. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Lucas tackles him for a loss on the play. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. High formation here. Davis on the inside handoff. He juked him out of his shoes. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Third and 11. Ball on the 22. LSU sets up in the eye. Back to pass. Looking. He's going to go for the home run. Bryant drops it. A hard throw, and it was dropped. He possibly could have taken something off that one, but hey, when you throw that way, your receiver still can make the catch. You're one step away from the big leagues, right, Coach? Kirk, you're absolutely right. Great. Wins will catch anything. They line up to punt this one away. Goff gets it off. Fields it to 39. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over the 39 yard line. Three wide outs here. Bird on first down. Across the middle. It's dropped. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Wisconsin lines up in a pro set. One of the big guys fell on it for the defense. Well, it looks like they have another chance now with that fumble recovery. I don't know how much of a chance that is. They're getting blown out. We'll see. I've seen stranger things happen in a football game. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. On the ground with the tailback. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They were coming with a heavy blitz, and guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. Second and 11. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Tigers line up with two tight ends. Dunn on the option. He breaks free. And down he goes. They go with the option and pick up the first down. And that was just good instincts. You have to know when to pitch it or when to keep it. Yeah, and in that situation, the quarterback knew he could pick up the first, so he kept it himself. Very good decision. It's first and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. This defense is looking to their impact corner to make a play. Little shake and bake move. Here's an opening. Patrick with a takedown. Oh, man. What a hit. He just took his head off. Not only did he nail him short of the first, but that might have been the hardest hit of the day. Woo-hoo-hoo-hee. That's football. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Davis is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hand. There's a missed tackle. Brought down. He gets positive yards on the run and picks up the first.
Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. Johnson brings him down. The running back gets two on the carry. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. They're going to pitch it. And they hit him in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. High formation here. They go with the option. Baker, he lateral. He might have a chance. Touchdown, LSU. So a halfback took it in for six. And the play call there by the offensive Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end. the PAT. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Patrick fields it in the end zone. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that if it happens again. They'll go to work at the 17-yard line. Wisconsin comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They go with a toss. Campbell tackles him for a loss on the play. He was stopped in his tracks on that one. Oh, yeah, and that's because of the nice pursuit by the defense there. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 14. And the secondary better be careful. This receiver wants to make a play. Let's it go. Complete. They'll bring him down. Gain of less than a yard on the play. Third down and 12. Ball of the 15. Single set backfield. Heard back to throw. Has some daylight. No one opens, so he's going to run. Thomas with a takedown. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. But the pressure's coming from the inside, and the quarterback can escape the pocket. It usually means he's going to have some room to run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37. 37 yard line. Wisconsin goes with the ace set here. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Throws it to the outside. And he's taken down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. And if anyone can make a play on defense, it's the defensive end down there. The counter, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean.
It's second down and 10 to go. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Wisconsin lines up in a pro set. Bird steps back to pass. He steps up. He unloads it. In and out of his hand. Jenkins, the intended receiver on the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Wisconsin lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Let's it fly. The ball is tipped. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. He just couldn't find the handle. That poor kid looked like he was trying to catch a greased pig. Easy, Scooter. At least he kept the receiver from making the play. The Badgers are lining up to punt it away. Brown boots it way up there. Jackson calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the nine. The run game was a big factor in this offense's last drive when they got down the field for a touchdown. It's first and ten. Ball on the nine. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Tries to juke. Tackle. The halfback picks up a yard. Second and nine. Ball on the ten. Our national championship game is one quarter away from naming the number one team in the country. Our score, Wisconsin 31, LSU 10. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 10-yard line. Dunn lines up in the shotgun. Dunn drives back to pass with the throw. And it's caught. They'll bring him down. Back to the line, maybe a yard on the pass. Third and eight. Ball on the 11. The Tigers come out in a bunch formation. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Wants to throw outside. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 37. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Five-yard penalty. First down. He got caught grabbing at the face mask. Five-yard penalty. Yeah, but he did the right thing. And he let it go right away. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Ace backfield. Dunn drops back. He steps up. And they get the sack. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. Second down, and they got 15 for the first down. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Single set backfield. Done. He'll hand it off. He juke. Brought down. They'll get six yards. LSU sets up in the eye. He drops back. Steps up, looking. Rolling out to the right side. Wants to go long and does. That's just airing it out on third down. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. Great. 
It's first and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Tigers line up with three receivers bunched. The handoff on the counter. Juku. Cole brings him down. The tailback picks up a solid seven yards on the counter play. Pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. LSU comes out with an eye formation. On the ground, up the middle. Smith lays it on him. Oh, man. He'll feel that one in the morning. That's called making a mistake. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Nickel defense. David, again, sheds a tackler. Lucas brings him down. Well, Kirky managed to get enough there to move the chains. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. First and ten. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Two tight ends here. Dunn will hand it off. Young with a takedown. Three-yard gain by the running back. About 12 yards out. They line up in an eye. They go with the run. A little Duke. Lucas brings him down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. The defense gets their fourth chance to make a stop here on third down. One man backfield. Dunn off the fake. He's looking. He's rolling right. Wants to throw outside. And he lays out and got it for the score. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Wisconsin 31, LSU 17. like they're ready for the kickoff. LSU is lined up for the kickoff. Patrick, Patrick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Campbell fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 21-yard line. Wisconsin lines up in a pro set. Hurd fakes a handoff. Throws. Someone got a handoff. Intercepted. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack.
They'll set up shot at the 37. First and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. LSU lines up with three receivers on the ground with a tailback. Cole with a takedown. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Second and two. Ball on the 45. The Tigers go with the eye formation. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 46 yard line. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. Done. Options out. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Good play by the defense. They broke up the option before it got started. I'll tell you what. The quarterback has to be more decisive than that. Either get it to the back on the outside or take the ball, find a seam, and cut up field. And they have three bunch. Done. Back to throw. Steps up in the pocket. They don't get it. They turn the ball over after going for it on fourth down. Yeah, but they still made the right call. At this stage in the game, they'll try anything to get back in it. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Badgers line up with two tight ends. They'll bring him down, and they're going to play keep away and work this clock. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 35. They line up in an eye. Fitzpatrick takes the handoff. Campbell brings him down. And they continue to pound it out on the ground. Tick, tick, tick. Continue to milk that clock. Third and six. Ball on the 33. They line up with split backs. Drops back to pass. Parker tackles him for a loss on the play. LSU takes a timeout. Wisconsin comes to the line with three wide. Hurd drops to throw. Looks. Rolls to the right. Throws to the middle. Got it to his receiver. Reed with a takedown. LSU calls a timeout. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. Watch out for this impact defensive end. And they got him for a loss. 
The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. Second and 11 coming up. This is the sixth play of this drive. Let's see if they look the wideouts way. He is in the zone. Brings him down. Short little game there. Just try to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running. And keep that other offense off the field. LSU takes a timeout. Right. Third and nine. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Yeah. Wisconsin lines up with a flip back here. Jenkins gets the carry right side. Chance. With a takedown. They try to run on third down, and that was a bust. Yeah, look at that defense swarming out there. They're all over the place. This should be an easy field goal. It's up, and it's right down the middle. So here's the Pontiac Drive Summary to recap what just happened. Gunn looks ready to kick this one off. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Reed, passes at the five. At the 30, he jukes it. A confident defense heads out onto the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. And the last thing you want to do is to come out and do nothing again and give them even more confidence. They'll get the ball here at the 40. The impact corner is in the zone right now and looking to take away half the field. They'll throw on first down. Throws to the middle. And he pulls it down. Inside the 30. And he's taken down. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he put that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. LSU comes to the line on the one man in the backfield. Done on the option right. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Now he pitches it. He might have a chance. And they push him out. Excellent run that time, but it still won't be enough to move the chains. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. Makes a move. Tackle. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams. But I was really impressed the way this game was won. Wisconsin faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real.
Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2.0.